Howdy music fans, thanks so much for joining me again. I am going to follow suit with uh, Shannon D. She did a Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers video, so I'm gonna do one as well. Um, I don't think I have any Tom Petty shirts anymore, anywhere, so I'm just wearing a stone shirt. He liked the stones, right? Tom Petty is up there with Dylan and the stones for me as far as people I've seen that many times. I think I've seen him eight or nine times, and I've seen the stones nine, and I've seen Dylan eight or nine times. And besides Joan Jett and Friends bands, I haven't seen any bands more than those in eight or nine times. So those are my top three. Um, and they're in my, all of my Tom Petty concert tickets are in my concert ticket videos. Um, so check those out too if you'd like. Anyway, let's get started. His first album, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Um, really solid album. I think I like every song on it. Uh, has the big hits, Breakdown and American Girl, which of course we've all heard enough times, but they're still great songs. But Rockin' Around With You and Hometown Blues are fantastic. Anything that's rock and roll is great. Stranger in the Night is really good. Fooled Again, I don't like it. Mystery Man. This whole album is pretty solid. So that's his very his debut, as they say. And then you're going to get it, his second album. Uh, this, I, didn't, I don't think I liked as much, but man, it's still solid. It has I Need to Know and Listen to Her Heart, which are two of his greatest um, rock songs. I never thought about it until Shannon mentioned it in her video, but he writes women really well, uh, and that's so true. He writes them strong and positive, and, um, you know, that, that never really crossed my mind until she mentioned it, and I'm glad she did because it's, a, it's an important point, and, it's, um, and he does it, did it so, so well. So listen to her heart, and I need to know are great. Um, Babies of Rock and Roll is really good. Anyway, I do like the whole album, as I recall. And then, of course, his big opus that came out that just knocked the music world on its ass, Stand the Torpedoes. This album is so solid, it's ridiculous. I mean, it starts out with Refugee, Here Comes My Girl, and Even the Losers, and then has Don't Do Me Like That a couple tracks later. But let's look at the tracks that aren't big hits or on the, didn't get radio play. Shadow of a Doubt, fantastic. Uh, Century City, incredible. You Tell Me, very, very good. What Are You Doing In My Life? Absolutely fantastic song. And Louisiana Rain, one of his best ever, I think. This is the um, remastered uh, deluxe edition, so it's got all these extras, which were really nothing here. There wasn't much here that you couldn't find anywhere, somewhere else. There might be a few things. There's some live stuff, and then it's raining again. No, it's raining again. That was also a B-side. I remember that song. So the second disc I just got because I'm like that, you know, kind of a completist. So I got this version and traded my version, my other version in solid solid record one of the best then he had to follow that up and he did it with hard promises and the, starting out that song with the waiting um, was just fantastic and and the fact that he could do this coherently and uh, emotionally after all the, the the crap he went through making damn the torpedoes which is well documented in the running down a dream documentary um you know the the lawsuits, the the hiding tapes, the 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 cloak and dagger stuff. I mean, it's just crazy how he had to, um, what he had to do, and all the emotional turmoil he went through. And that might have been around the time that that his house burned down as well. So, a lot. Of, actually, no, that I think was later because um, he went on tour, and uh, that was mid '80s, maybe. Sorry, that's my cat meowing. Um, so anyway. Uh, Hard Promises, yeah, is really good, um, but it's not as good as, as those others. Woman in Love is really good, um, actually. Night Watchman, I kind of liked. Something Big, King's Road is great. Letting You Go is excellent. Um, you can still change your mind. Thing About, oh, Thing About You is fantastic. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. I always look at his, his albums and I'm like, I don't remember if I like that one a lot. And then I look at the songs and I'm like, oh my God, what a great album. So um, I got turned on to him by the neighbors inviting me over to watch Pack Up the Plantation. And um, that is still one of my top three favorite concert films of all time. It is spectacular. Um, it was after the Southern Accents album. And then they took me to see him for my first show at Meriwether Concert Pavilion in um, Columbia, Maryland. An outdoor event, outdoor um, arena, with not arena, but uh, one of those amphitheaters like with a bunch of seats under a big tent and then the big the grass and everything. We were on the grass. Anyway... This album, I don't know why uh, he doesn't like it or the rest of the world doesn't like it. It is spectacular. I like every song on this album. It's catchy. It's rock and roll. It's fun. It's great writing. Um, there's not a bad song on it. 
Um, it's if I if I put this album on, I'll find myself singing all the songs afterwards the rest of the day. Every song on this is catchy. Um, Scott, you got lucky is the only one that really hit the radio off of that. Sorry for my cat; she's older. Southern accents. Um, Rebels is great, and I love It Ain't Nothing to Me. They do that in that Pack Up the Plantation video, and it's a real funky, crazy, weird song that just rocks. And then Don't Come Around Here No More, his working with uh, Dave Stewart came out beautifully. Southern Accents, of course. Um, others have mentioned the Johnny Cash cover of that. And um, then Make It Better, Forget About Me on the Second Side, and Spike. I love Spike. That's, uh, I think that's also in the Pack Up the Plantation film. Dogs on the Run was good. Mary's Brain New Car, The Best of Everything. It's funny, I always think I don't like this side, the second side of this, and then I look at the songs and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I like that one. I like that one. I like that one. So even though it was a little bit of a, a schizophrenic, weird record that kind of goes different places, I think it's very solid. I love this record. And Rebels is one of his best songs ever. And as is, it ain't nothing to me. Um, and Don't Come Around Here No More. And Southern Accents, I like his version better than anybody's. Here's Pack Up the Plantation Live, and it didn't transfer as great to, um, I think I had this, I did have it on vinyl, it might have been a double album. It didn't transfer as great to um, the record as it, did, it does on screen. On screen, it's just such a wonderful film. Anyway, but I have that because I love it. This one, I, I it came out probably around the time, I, yeah, I guess it came out around the time I was getting into Tom Petty, so I've, it's nostalgically great to, to me, but I love, I think I love every song on this album. Um, Jam and Me is, is, is working with Bob Dylan, Runaway Trains, um, The Damage You've Done, I love. Um, it'll All Work Out is beautiful. My Life, Your World is a little spacey, but very good. Think About Me is another great rocker. All Mixed Up is another kind of groovy little, almost a J.J. Kale-esque type thing. And if you don't believe me, listen to more J.J. Kale, trust me. Um, Self-Made Man, another great rocker. Well, you know, medium tempo rocker. Um, Ain't Love Strange, that's another great one. Um, How Many More Days is a great rocker. And Let Me Up, I've Had Enough. This is full of good rock songs, this album. I think it's fantastic. Love it. This one is the one that gets bashed a lot, but it also people love the songs on it that I don't. <laughs> Into the Great Wide Open. Um, I love Learning to Fly. The video is great, and it's a song that I play, and I played when he died with my band. We played it as a tribute to him. Um, King's Highway is great. Into the Great Wide Open, eh, that story to me. People talk about what a great story it is, and I'm like, it seems, seems very cliche. And then to have Johnny Depp do it in the video is even more cliche, I thought. <laughs> I don't remember if Winona Ryder's in it too or not. Um, Two Gunslingers, I think I like. I can't remember. But The Dark of the Sun, I do like. All or Nothing, I do like. Um, All the Wrong Reasons, don't remember. Too Good to Be True, I do like. Out in the Cold, I love. The Great Rocker. You and I Will Meet Again, very pretty song. And Making Some Noise, a great rocker. And Built to Last, another pretty song. Um, people will, will bash the Jeff Lynn on production, and I will too. I mean, I'm not a big... Um, Jeff Lynn production fan, although I do like some ELO stuff. Um, I love the Traveling Wilburys. But, um, yeah, he definitely kind of glosses this up quite a bit. But there are some great songs, and I still do like it. it you know, it just be kind of became Tom Petty after a while. Like, you just, Jeff Lynn is kind of stuck in your head with him, with Tom Petty. To me, they're kind of married after a while, and so I'm, I, I kind of got used to it. They beat me down till I got okay with the sound, I guess. She's the one. Um, I should get this eventually on CD, the, the, buy, buy it. Saw it used yesterday, and I didn't buy it. But anyway, this is, um, um, it's good. You know, I love the Listen to Williams cover, and uh, I love uh, <laughs> Zero from Outer Space. And the versions of Walls, and uh, it's it's an Angel Dream is pretty. It 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 holds up well as its own album, even though it's a, a weird soundtrack. And now the opus that everybody thinks is the opus, and it is an opus. Full Moon Fever is fantastic. It's got Heartbreakers all over it, even though it's a Tom Petty record. Um, Free Fallen and I Won't Back Down and Running Down a Dream are overplayed as hell, and there's a reason for that. They're all fantastic songs. Um, I used to play Apartment Song by myself on guitar a lot and love that song. I like Zombie Zoo, even though it's a pretty silly song. I'm not a big Birds fan, but he does um, feel a whole lot better, Birds song, Birds, and he does Facing the Crowd, and, um, and there's a lot of great stuff. You're So Bad is a lot of fun. Everybody likes that one. He used to do it a lot 
in concert. Um, wonderful, wonderful album. And then, of course, another opus, another solo opus, Tom Petty. Um, what can you say? I can't wait for the uh, box set. I was really bummed. I didn't know this until after he passed away. He was planning an acoustic tour of of Wildflowers, and that just oh, breaks my heart. I, w I would have gone to see that. And now I'm kind of bummed I didn't go see his last show. The last time he came through Seattle, I thought, you know, I've seen Tom Petty so many times. He's just going to play all the hits. And last time I saw him was wonderful. Eddie Vedder came on, and so did um, Stevie Nicks, and that was kind of cool. Uh, but, you know. And Eddie Vedder, it's funny, he, uh, he, I forget what song he was on, but he fucked up the lyrics, and he sang, I fucked up the lyrics in tune, in melody with the with the line he was supposed to sing. So that was that was great. And Stevie Nicks, I didn't know it. These guys were booked for the whole tour, but to me, they were surprise guests. So I was thrilled because I never get to see, I'm, I'm never at that show where those surprise guests show up. And Stevie Nicks, I've become a fan of, and Fleetwood Mac, I'm getting more and more into. Um, so anyway, that was great to see Stevie Nicks there too. Uh, this is from the, the CD that came with his um, with the Running Down a Dream um, documentary. Now, this is one of the playback um, CDs but, but from the box set. I don't have the whole box set because I'm, I was never into compilations and greatest hits and box sets and stuff. I'm getting more into them now, but I always thought, well, I've got all those songs. But with playback, Tom Petty did something incredible. He put out all these like almost three CDs worth, uh, two CDs for sure, worth of things that were never released. And then this CD, is, I think this is the one with all the B-sides and stuff that, you know, are all collected in one place. And some of them are great, cracking up. I, I like Trailer, honestly. Psychotic Reaction's okay. Um, and it's got a bunch of live stuff. Lonely Weekends, the old country song. I think that's a Charlie Rich song, maybe. I'm not sure. The Image of Me is on there. I'm pretty sure Charlie Rich does do that one. Um... So that's kind of cool. Uh, and then he did this one. This one is the one. I mean, this is this. You know, I I I, ha I used to own the box set, and I just burned these three and kept them and copied the labels for just these three discs. Um, but Ways to Be Wicked, which Lone Justice covers, and they do it great, and he does it great. It's one of his best songs ever. Got my mind made up is fantastic. Uh, can't get her out. It's great. Waiting for tonight is great. Traveling is great. And then some covers. Maybe Let's Play House is good. Um, uh, God's Gift to Man, You Get Me High. I mean, everything on here is just like, seriously, dude, that's an album. You know, so thanks for putting it on a box set. Um, that's pretty pretty cool of him to do that, um, to put all this unreleased stuff on a box set. I wanna, I'm going to hurry up here because I'm also going to try and get to my DVDs and my bootlegs. Um, and then this is the last one, which has got um, a bunch of, more of that stuff some some covers some b-sides some live some unreleased stuff and uh that's the third disc like that in playback okay then we get to echo which i don't remember it well i haven't listened to tom petty in a long time it really broke me up when he died and i i have not been able to really listen to him much since then i know i will get back to it but this album i do remember though writing off at one point or just not thinking much of it because i probably didn't listen to it and then i listened to it and i fell in love with it and i like every song free girl now is the only one that really hit the radio i think but it is a solid solid record this one i might it might be similar not as good as that one but last dj is another one that i was like um yeah new tom petty he's not he doesn't have it like he used to and um i uh, but then I listened to it, and I was like, wow, that's actually pretty good. It's got some cool songs on it. So um, I don't remember them. I can't comment on them. Dreamville I remember I like, and The Last DJ is okay. It's a little cliche, but it's all right. Money Becomes King, a little cliche, but it's all right. Um, this one, when this came out, uh, Hallelujah. Um, it came out maybe around the time that the uh, Conversations with Tom Petty book came out, which was out of print forever and crazily ex expensive, and now it's... There's, the market's flooded with them. I just bought a new copy for 20 bucks yesterday or two days ago on Amazon. And it's, they're, they're everywhere for 20, 25 bucks. They were 50 and higher before. Anyway, Big Weekend and Down South are my two favorites on this. But I love, I think I love every song on this album. It's a Jeff Lynn production again, but it really um, is, he, he tones the Jeff Lynn this down quite a bit. And I highly recommend this. This one is one that turned me off at first. Mojo, very different. A little bluesy, a little spacey, a little jammy. Um, I don't remember it 
at all. I've listened to it maybe two or three times. Um, I got to give it another listen though. And then Hypnotic Eyes, I think this hit number one. This was his last studio album um, with the Heartbreakers or anybody. And um, yeah, I, 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 this is one that I didn't give much credit to. And then when I listened to it, like Echo, I'm like, wow, that's a solid, really good album. And then, of course, the anthology box set is wonderful. All live material, um, a lot of deep cuts, as people say, as the kids are saying today, and a lot of great hits and a lot of covers, as he was, they were prone to do. That's a nice set. And it was very cheap when it came out. It was like 20 bucks for four discs. And this, the American Treasure 4 CD set, is just lovingly and beautifully packaged with a wonderful book, although there is, um, there's, there's a misprint in the book or mistakes in the book. One page picks up after like one page leaves off and then it doesn't pick up in the same place on the next page i forget i think that's the mistake but anyway lots of great stuff on this a few unreleased things not enough for me but still great um okay let's move on to bootlegs um this is mud crutch stuff that was um never released and really great oh i didn't bring my mud crutch albums out the first Mud Crutch album I liked a lot. The second one I didn't like as much. I gotta give it another listen after watching Shannon's video. Maybe I'll like it more. I don't know. But anyway, there's some Mud Crutch outtakes. This you've seen in an unboxing, so I'll just go really quick. Under the Gun Volume 1, and it's live, a couple of live shows of Mud Crutch now. The, 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 the lineup that they did in the last, whatever it was, 10 years ago or something when they did those two albums. And there's another one, a couple more shows. And there's also a bunch of outtakes and unreleased Mud Crutch stuff on here from the 70s. So that's kind of fun. Then we just have, some of these are just in sleeves. And some of them, this is a silver disc, Tom, Tom Petty, early 70s at my father's house. Some more and just in sleeves like that. Try to keep them in chronological order. This is from 82. That's probably a rarity. And then this one is one that you can find in the record store. And it's in that might be one of those box live in Jacksonville 87 that's great and then this one Tom Petty broadcast I and I have a ton of the Tom Petty Bob Dylan stuff Bob um, when they were on tour I, I've, I've showed you those and other videos of bootlegs this is one of the nights at the Fillmore which has now been released uh, kind of legitimately as a bootleg and um, 20 nights he did this is three or four discs fantastic this has got a lot of great stuff from the docs and then also some earlier stuff and live in VH1. This is covers that he did. I'm tr trying to go really fast now. And then 2003 and then there's this one, another one from 2003. And then I'll just show you the DVDs. These are the DVDs. Um, and then there's some more here. So these are my DVDs, some legit, some burned from the library and some bootleg. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, or comment, and have a great day.